Hey, welcome back to the shop in Toronto. It's James. Just wanted to talk to you today about the War of E-Block. Some of you have heard about it. Some of you may not have, or maybe some of you knew Bill. Some of you didn't know Bill. Bill was a, a rod maker in Michigan who was an incredible machinist. He owned a, a very large company that made uh, massive tooling for the automotive industry. So he was a guy that understood tooling. But unfortunately, he had lost three fingers on one of his hands when he was a teenager in high school. So, you know, it was tough for him to hold on to things uh, in the traditional way. So he came up with a V-block to uh, help read bamboo strips that would aid him because he was missing a few fingers, but also it was a more accurate way of reading them. What is a war V-block? It's essentially a little block with a V in it, which simulates, in a sense, the planing form. And you mount it onto a dial caliper, and you're able to read your bamboo settings the size of your bamboo in this block as opposed to using what most of us use a traditional micrometer. I should say that it's almost impossible to take accurate measurements of a bamboo strip with a dial caliper without a v-block installed. So you should be using either a micrometer or if you're going to use dial calipers you should use one with a v-block installed. How does it work? Well you make a, a mark on your bamboo every five inches where you want to read it, slide it into the block, close it up, and you get a reading. So this one here, you can see it's reading uh, 154. Turn it, 155, turn it again, 155. So those three sides are within a thou. Pretty good. So how do, how do they work? How does it know how to read it? Well, basically when you get your V-block, you have to install it onto your dial calipers. So slide it into place. Close it up. And tighten it. Now right away it won't give you an accurate reading because you have to calibrate your device. So you calibrate your device by putting in a piece of rod. So here I'm going to use an eighth inch dial pin which is 0.125. I'm going to multiply it by 1.5, which gives me 1.875. Now, just to confuse you all, dial calipers only read the 8 and the 7 and the 5. They read the 1 on this scale down here. So basically it's an unknown value, or the value down here, which is x, plus 875. So we're losing 200.2 uh, here. So we're basically starting, uh, you can see at the 2, so when we put in our 8th inch rod, we've now moved up to 3 something, so that's 1 something, and we just have to loosen down here and set this up to 875, lock it. And now we're good. That's how you calibrate it. And then to read it, you just slide in your piece of bamboo, turn it three ways, and get your three readings. What I like about it over the, the dial micrometer is that, uh, first of all, the micrometer is a little bit slower to read. If you don't use them all the time, they're a little bit awkward because you have to read in graduations of 25 plus the value here. So for people that use them once in a blue moon, they're a little bit hard to read and it's easy to make a mistake. Um, and also, you do get a slightly smaller reading when you read your strip on a, on a, on a micrometer than you do in the V-block. And that's because... You know, the bamboo, and this is exaggerated, but the bamboo has a bit of a crown, like a snow cone, and when it's sitting in the V, it doesn't sit in perfectly. And that's how it sits in your planing form. So it makes sense to me uh, to use something that simulates a planing form to read your strips. So I use this for reading all of my strips. If you've built lots of rods, and this is what you use, and you get an accurate reading, beautiful. You don't need one. For new builders, I find this is easier to read and a whole lot faster and less prone to error because you don't have to do the 25 plus 25 plus 18, 
25 plus 8 is 35, 40. You know, it gets very complicated. So it's a, it's a simple tool to use. I recommend you use it with a dial caliper, not a digital caliper. And they work great. I've sold over 100 of them. So there's at least 100 guys out there that believe in them. Uh, it is a very accurate way of, of reading them. And I suggest you just buy a, you know, a, an imported one. This is a Starrett, but you buy an imported um, dial uh, caliper and just leave the leave the thing on and then each time before you use it just grab your your calibration and just check your reading to make sure it's set properly here's the big issue in all of this measuring nothing really matters except the finished rod so I think a lot of builders are so happy that once they've got the rod glued up they don't measure the rod accurately once it's been made and I think that to be a, a competent rod builder and to build rods that are consistent, you need to measure all six of your strips when you're plating, not just one, and then do them all the same. Measure them all, make sure they're all the same. Write down all of your numbers that you have from your V-block or from your micrometer. Glue up your rod, clean off the glue, and measure everything again and find out where you are. Are you hitting your numbers? And I think a lot of new builders don't hit the numbers. It's not the end of the world, but it's important to get to the right number. So if you've got a taper from a rod you want to build, uh, you want to build it to those numbers. And then if you let someone try that rod and they want to buy a rod from you, you have to be able to build that rod again to those numbers, especially in a tip section. I mean, you can be off a little bit in the butt section, not quite as critical, but if you're off... If your tip should be 66 and your tip is 71 or 72, that's not great. So whatever system you use, it doesn't matter. Measure all six strips, write everything down, glue the rod up, and measure your flat to flats on all three sides. And make sure that you're A, getting the number, and B, you're getting the same number on all three flat to flat measurements. Anyway, I wanted to show you the V-block because I think it's a great tool. I think Bill was a very innovative guy. He built a lot of tooling for bamboo rod making. And just to make you aware that sometimes the, the, the value on your micrometer may be under reading a little bit. So that's something you should be aware of. But again, it doesn't matter what you use as long as you measure everything, write everything down, and then the minute you have the glue off and you have a nice clean rod section, measure everything again and find out where you are. Learn to hit the numbers. Hope you're at the shop building and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.